Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I had someone just watch this video on my Lake Travis map, and, and they must have watched my other one because I don't even think the compass was in the other video. But, and I just made that video, so I uh, thought I'd show them how to make it. And I'm going to probably make this a two part video. I'm going to go to this part so the videos won't be so long. So I'm going to go. And then I'm going to show how I made this like a ship's steering wheel. But this is really easy. And this is why I like drawing the center of the page. So I'm just going to get this out of the way. And you need a circle. And get it about the right size and hit P on the keyboard. Put it in the center of the page. Get your star and make it a four-sided star. And hold down your control button. And hit P and put it in the center of the page. Make it a little bit bigger. P in the center of the page. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. It's always better just to grab your pick tool. That's about right. Now you can always change the angle. Like these are narrower. So let's just go uphill a little bit. And we'll change the angle of that star. Now... Then what you do is take your two-point line. Tell you what, let's zoom in here a little bit. Two-point line and go from that node to that node. That node to that node. I don't think I'm on it exactly. You can always grab your shape tool and move it to that node. Then we can delete all this interior stuff. So get your virtual segment delete key and just do a round uh, Something like that. Now we need to do two things, and it doesn't really matter what order you do them in, but we're going to select all that, and we're going to change everything. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's don't do that. Let's change our star into a black and not a hairline. You want to take that hairline away because you don't want to cut it out. Now we want to take our uh, circle and we want to make it a black hairline we want it a little bit thicker and this is just personal preference when you're drawing yours now we want to take our smart fill tool and you want to make sure you specify there's none no outline and we want to color that in that in that in and that in now you've got a hairline still in there and it will cut so the best thing to do is to take your, put your nudge factor like on one inch and grab this smart fill and just move it out of the way for a second. Just doesn't matter what direction because you can put it right back. And then we want to delete that line. We want to delete that line. Now we have no hairlines and I'm just going to put these back. I just went over or up or down. Now to put the number, the letters in there. Just type out north, south, east, and west. Get them about the appropriate size you want. Control K and break it apart. And then hit P and put that in in the center of the page. Let's get these other ones a little bit closer so we can zoom in here. Now we want to set our nudge factor on like Let's go 2.25 and let's move this up. That's not quite enough. So let's go back and go 2.5. Move it up. Could be a little bit further. Let's move that back. And the reason I'm moving it back is I want them all the same. So we're going to go 2.75. Go up. Put P, put it in the center of the page, go down. P, center of the page, go to the right. P, center of the page, go to the left. Let me get that out of the way just so you'll see it. That's done so far. So if you'll stay tuned, I'm going to make a video on how I made this ship's wheel. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.